Hello guys, hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for FRM and CFA exams. Now with this, let us start with today's conversation. I have with me one of my students who has been able to clear FRM level one in his first attempt in May 2023. And his story is very interesting because he's in the first year of the college when he attempted the exam. So he's going to be talking about his journey, his way of preparation, what challenges he faced and how he was able to manage and clear the exam. So we're going to be talking to Soham. And first of all, Soham, thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us. Okay. And for the benefit of the audience, if you can just give a brief, when you started your preparation, what was the background? Yes, sir. Thank you for having me here. And thanks for giving me this opportunity. Sir, currently I am in my second year pursuing BMS. But mm -hmm. before opting for the FRM exam, I was in my first year and also sir, I am from 12th science background. So I am a pure science student from the start, but due to my okay. interest in stock market and other economics and so, so I switched my career to commerce and joined okay. BMS. Then okay. I was researching about the courses which can kickstart my career in finance. So hmm. I came across this FRM course and subsequently, okay. sir, I also got to know about your intelligence through YouTube and I also attended your orientation seminar. Then hmm. I was motivated to clear the exam. You told me the perks to clear the FRM exam and what the FRM curriculum can equip you with and what knowledge it can give you i remember you coming with your mom dad for your orientation yes. and uh, you had so many questions especially you're coming from uh very far i mean one side yes. traveling would one, uh, one, side, tra uh, so one side traveling almost almost one and a half hour two hour for you two hours almost two hours so that was also one of the questions that how will you be able to manage but you attended lectures you were there for the sessions and this is the result. So let us let us move now. So which was that month that you started the preparation? Sir, around November 2022. Okay. I joined you and uh, our lecture started around mid-November, I think. Yes. So when you when you joined the uh, batch before that, you have seen the books, the four books for level one? No, sir. Before joining, I didn't have any books. After joining you, I purchased a book. Okay, okay. And when you started the journey, any knowledge about the course? Okay, so Before basically, I... there was though there was no knowledge specific understanding that what is there in the course before you started the preparation and all, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and and when you sir, started the I was journey, doing the basic uh, means what is the subject, what is there in the course, but nothing any specific. Okay, okay. But so when you started, say, a uh, few chapters and all, 10 chapters, 15 chapters, was there any fear in the sense that uh, I'm just doing it up in my first year of my college and I, I, a lot of people, other people are working because when you're coming to the class, you see working professionals also sitting. So was there any fear in the, at the start? Honestly, sir, there was no fear because Sir, okay. your teaching style was so good that even a 15 year old student can also understand from the scratch. You were taking us to very advanced level. So actually it was a little bit challenging for me, but at the same time, it was more interesting for me. Yes, sir. Okay. And you were following the uh, specific order that in which I was taking the lecture, the same yes, order sir, you started preparing. Is it? Followed the sequence given and before coming to the lecture you were also watching the video was, was that being followed sir your audio is like this so what i'm saying is before coming to the lecture you were also watching the video right yes sir yes sir you actually gave so me you a following that before coming to the lecture was the pre-recorded video lecture so that there is not 
any gap in understanding perspective okay okay and when so you started the beforehand uh, lecture hmm? Hmm? yes yes tell me yes sir so the first time when i watched the video that was my first reading and when actually i came to class it it would be my second reading and when i used to go to the home from train i used to read the book so it will be my third reading okay oh okay okay and uh, when we were when you were preparing on weekdays because our lectures are were on weekends so weekdays how many number of hours you were dedicating for fr sir primarily in my first leg of my preparation my only aim was to watch the video lectures beforehand so that i could be on the same level that you are teaching and i used to solve the first level quiz that you have provided and nothing any extra but on an average i used to dedicate around 1 or 2 hours on a daily basis not to was on a daily basis okay and then when did you complete your overall reading the first reading of the content sir the whole curriculum was completed around uh, starting of april or march march okay. end, sir march end. and that was your uh, watching of videos right yes sir and what about the chapter wise questions how when did sir, you complete sir i started it? them after january on around mid january mm -hmm. and there were also two parts in the chapter test chapter test 1 and chapter test 2 so when i used to solve the chapter test 1 i used to see where am i lagging and i i tried to not to repeat the same mistake in the chapter test 2 okay and sir okay. when whenever i means the questions i will not understand you also have provided the video solutions of the same so that helped me a lot okay okay perfect perfect and then uh, when so by first week of april or end of uh, march you were completed completed the entire question solving also or it was only videos sir actually in march exam i was having my college exam so there was okay uh, one month gap sir so march around so i again started in april and it was around till may 5th i was completing the chapter wise test means both one and oh. two okay okay so basically one full month there was nothing then again uh, you picked up the question bank and may 5th and when was your exam date may 13th okay and did you solve any mock papers Sir, I have solved only one mock. Which uh, garb sample paper? No, no, sir. Mock provided by you. Okay, and what was the average score you got in that mock? Sir, around sixty-five. Okay, okay. And then, uh, when you went to the exam, because this was this was your first competitive exam. No, sir. I had okay. given college entrance exam after twelfth. So I, I had okay. some experience of competitive exam. Okay. Now, when you went to the exam, FRM exam, what happened in that first one hour? Sir, first one hour, I was able to solve around twenty-seven or twenty-eight questions. And they were difficult questions. Sir, they were mixed. Some difficult okay. and some easy questions. I okay, used to okay. intentionally uh, flag. those questions which i think will be difficult but they were lengthy so uh, hmm. i didn't wasted my time there just flag the question and moved on okay okay and then when you uh, okay in the overall question uh, exam did you panic any time because of the difficulty level of the questions or anything no sir because sir the i had solved chapter test i was not panicking okay okay and then uh, you, you were able to complete everything in that 4 hours uh, 100 questions yes sir yes okay there was no problem there was no time issue as such 
sir i was actually solving the last question until the last minute sir okay okay last question yes. until the last minute okay yes okay. sir because i solved around 95 to 98 questions in time but there was 5 to 10 minutes left so the question which were flagged in the first hand i revisited them and chosen a chosen the best guess possible okay and how many theory how many calculation questions were there in your exam sir around 65 theory were there okay and calculation were easy yes sir some were most of them were straight forward formula based question okay and what about theory 60 how was it sir it was i would say moderate okay okay so you'll have to sit in front of the camera slightly in 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 between ha no no this side ha right right so uh ha so uh, 65 question it was slightly moderate that you said i mean and you are getting confused in two options yes sir questions? especially from book one especially from book one okay okay now uh when you uh, came out of the exam center okay uh was there any number in your mind that i'll get 40 correct 70 correct out of 100 no sir there was not any number because options were so similar that i was not very confident that yes i have okay. marked this answer is correct okay okay and uh, uh, so were you confident when you came out of the exam or when you were just analyzing at home that i will be able to clear what was the situation sir there was some gut feeling that i would clear because i was confident that yes i have given my best attempt but there was not any specific that i would score 60 70 like that okay and now when the results are out your quartiles are 1 2 1 1 so second book which is quants you got second quartile yes. you had any background you had background of stats in your science preparation yes. some background yes right. sir i had mathematics okay. you had mathematics so that that helped you in your book too right no sir not really okay. because i didn't have statistic like regression hypothesis testing okay. that i had differentiation integration means applied mathematics was there in my 11th and 12th okay okay but no in depth statistics okay and also book 3 the financial markets futures options so because you came from science background this has to be new for you yes sir but it was the most easy and the most <laughs> i would say interesting book okay okay wonderful and because the quartiles that you have got 1 2 1 1 is very very interesting and especially somebody who is giving the exam in the first year of college with no specific finance background definitely this is very interesting but now i want to ask you one question that if to if somebody ask come and ask you that i want three tips from your side in terms of how to prepare for frm level 1 what would be those three tips for from you sir the first tip would be read swager as much as you can hmm and focus on understanding rather than remembering that would be my okay. second tip and third tip would be that religiously follow the lectures video lectures okay okay wonderful and and then now when the results are out what is the reaction of people around you your family and especially your friends what is the reaction sir my mother and father were actually shocked <laughs> they were okay. not expecting me to pass with such a good quartile okay sir wonderful. i called you instantly and you were also so happy <laughs> Yes, yes. I remember the call and uh, the because I remember the day you you came first uh, in the orientation session, and your entire family was there. Everybody was asking questions, this and that. So I know it is it is it was a very important course for you, and uh, they were also slightly worried that you are doing it in the first year of college. Will it clear? Because the exam fees are also very high. So all those things, definitely. But uh, I'm really, really happy on the uh, the 
first of all clearing the exam and also the quartiles that you have got so and you started in november the uh, complete dedication the traveling and also i i am sure that this is going to really be helpful for you in your career as you graduate and move out and also with respect to uh, the interview now that of the, the time that you have given this is also going to be helpful to a lot of other students especially college students who feel i cannot give the exam or i am not confident enough to give the exam so this interview will motivate them and will push them towards the exam and thank you very much soham for taking out time and talking to us this was really really helpful sir i would like to add one more point mm -hmm. sir actually the path you gave was so means so simple that i didn't have to look anywhere else that what should i do now what should i do now i just followed the path you given means whenever there was any doubt i used you were so approachable that even on text or maybe in emergency i could call you and you were so prompt to give me the response that so home do this so home do this so that was the only thing i followed and that i think paid off perfect perfect thank you thank you so home thank you very much and wonderful time and this interview is definitely going to be really helpful for a lot of students thank you thank you sir